you're looking at right now is a list of the more common manufacturers. Some of these people have, are still making machines. Some of them no longer are uh, pro being produced, but the uh, independent service technicians will recognize many of these names as still in existence. These machines are still being used by uh, their customers. So um, just to kind of start the history of the tabletop sterilizer, we can trace it back to the 1600s when a product named the digester was being produced. The digester was used in the food industry as a cooking device. It is still in production today as a pressure cooker. Basically what you had was a sealed uh, vessel that could be opened and closed at will. You would put water, food, put it on a heat source. The heat source would boil the water, creating steam. The steam was con contained within the pressure vessel, and um, that uh, increases the pressure of the steam and, and decreases the cooking time. This, also, this device also translates to something called a pressure pot, exactly the same as a pressure cooker. In this case, though, we are using it to uh, sterilized industrial uh, pieces of equipment, um, and we also use them as a steam source. The uh, system on the left-hand side, the one I'm pointing at, is from our QC lab. We use that as part of our testing. The one on the right is a Prestige. This is a sterilizer that would be found in um, a spa or a beauty salon to sterilize scissors. Um, and uh, nail clippers. Um, basically what you have is a heating element in a pot of water, which you have to put the water in every use. Inside of both of these you'd find a tray where, where you would put some small cassettes for loose instruments. No matter what you're talking about in the world of sterilization, um, there are very simple, um, they, they, the, the world of sterilization requires three unique characteristics. We're always going to be talking about temperature, we're always going to be talking about pressure, and we're always going to be talking about exposure time. The temperature is something that we have to set based on the kinds of uh, materials going in the sterilizer. We don't want to melt anything. We don't want to burn anything. So that's based on the actual um, pieces, what we're trying to do with the sterilizer. The pressure is related to the temperature. So when you take steam and contain it, there is a ratio between the temperature and pressure that will always be maintained in the working machine. That ratio of pressure to temperature is uh, based on sea level measurements. If you are, a, if you are at altitude, uh, that ratio changes slightly, and people who are at high cities uh, will always be adjusting their cycles to compensate for that. Now, the exposure time is based on the machine uh, running properly, being at its stable operating temperature and pressure, and is decided by the manufacturers to ensure that 100% of bacterial spores within the sterilizer are killed under every possible opportunity. Um, normally that's set up so that they actually do 200% kills or 100% twice. Um, normally if the, if the manufacturer says that they can uh, kill the bacterial spores in a minute and a half. They'll run the cycle for three minutes to ensure that they're completely killed. Now, what are we talking about in a bacterial spore? Uh, there are, as part of the bacteriums, certain bacteriums life cycle, they literally form a case. It's basically the DNA of the bacteria with proteins surrounding it. It's very, very hard to penetrate that protein shell, so we absolutely need to be sure that we have enough energy within the system to break down that wall. Um, if we, in order to do that, we need a good conductor of heat as well as energy. 
Steam is the ideal conductor. It's very penetrating and it can hold a lot of energy and transfer it very uniformly. You can also sterilize using just dry heat, but in order to do that, you would have to increase the time, exposure time and increase the temperature, which limits the amount of, uh, and the style of instruments that can be dry sterilized.